My name is Luke. My name is Ramon. And we're, we're on the search for the best burrito in our hometown of Escondido, California. We're here at Burroughs and Fries taking our first step at finding the best burrito in Escondido. Let's get it. Two California burritos today. Two California burritos. The place itself it's pretty well lit. It's um it's kinda hot in here. It is kinda hot. It is though. very hot. How are you feeling about this place? Pretty much all I can think about is that it's really hot. <laughs> it's it's so, what? It it's is like hot. it's hot in here. I guess it's raining outside. They have the heater on. Okay. Got it. Okay, let's get going. Perfect. Thank you. We're taking these home right now. Okay. Let's get these back to the office. Okay, we're back from Burroughs and Fries. So here's a couple things to note. There is a drive-through if you do feel like doing that. The line was pretty long, but however, inside, it wasn't that bad. So the first thing we're gonna do is that we're going to weigh the burrito. So let's see how much this weighs. See, that is coming up at 1.38. Gonna measure it. Measure this one. Comes at around eight inches. Okay, and finally, Let's see what's on the inside here. So this is what I'm gonna show you right here. It's like half fries, half meat. You kind of mix in with the... I'm not seeing a whole lot of color though, that's the thing. Yeah. Right now it looks about just carne asada, fries, some sour cream, some pico. Yeah. But that pretty standard, I think, nothing too special. The meat looks kind of juicy. It does. Here we go, cheers, man. Wow, actually here, show them that, that's like, Show them that real quick. Notice how it's like literally fries on the right, fries on the right side, me on the left side. That's mine's actually a better mix. Okay, you ready? Cheers. There you go. First bite. Okay, one thing I gotta complain. Look how thin these napkins are. Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh. They're already like dissolving. They're all, I know, right? <laughs> What's your first initial? Um, it is pretty juicy. Oh, uh, now I'm starting to see sour cream in the back. I didn't see that before. Sour cream popping out. Actually, that first bite, I almost got, I don't think I got any sour cream, so. Could have been a better mix, but. Okay, you ready? Let's just finish it. I gotta be honest with you. This is really dry. Like, I mean, it's not horribly dry. The meat, luckily, it's really juicy. Actually, as you can, if you can see right here on the plate, there's all the meat juice right there. But um, I'm not gonna eat really any sour cream at all, which kind of worries me. I think that means that maybe one half is just full sour cream. Yeah, because this half has sour cream, but it's like in the back. Actually, I think there's like one patch. You know, just to prove my right here, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna take a bite out of the end of this one to see if I get a huge bite of sour cream. Let's see. Nothing but sour cream right there. <laughs> it's all sour cream right there. Okay, so, do you think you have a pretty good grasp on the burrito? Yeah. Let's think about some, uh, let's do some pros first. The pros, it's not too expensive, pretty fast. There's a drive through if you wanna do that. Mm -hmm. Cons, I'll say one, Napkin situation, that's ridiculous. I mean, these are so thin. I mean, look, this is like a stack of like five napkins right there. That's nothing. The fact that I don't like the fact that it's not really spread out that well. Yeah, like sour cream is just pretty much on this end. And then it's completely dry the other end. What do you think about the size of the burrito? So, it's a pretty decent size. I mean, it's pretty girthy. I feel the same way. I think with the size of the burrito, for especially for the price, came out as um, $8.50. 
eight dollars and you know eight fifty for um that size of a burrito. That's pretty good. And how many inches was it again? It was eight inches. Eight inches. So a dollar an inch, pretty much. Okay, then how about what's inside of it? What do you think about? It could have more variety, I guess. It's just meat, pico de gallo, and then um just fries and cheese. And it wasn't like really spread out though, like that good. All the sour cream was just like in one spot. That was just okay for me. And then how about the taste? I mean, the taste is like good. It's nothing like disappointing, but it's nothing like to brag about. Okay, so overall, our experience with it, it's a pretty just decent burrito. Size is great. What's inside is okay. Nothing special. I don't know if going through the drive through is actually that fast because that line looked pretty backed up. I'm going to be honest with you. If you're close to it and like you just want a burrito, you don't even like care, I'd probably go to it. Like you wouldn't. You won't be like disappointed or anything. Like we said, it's fast. It's fast. The price is, it's nothing to write home about. And you know, what's, it, the whole entire experience is nothing to write home about, really. It, it's just a very, if I can describe it in one where it's like, it's average. There's things that they did right. There's things that they could do better. So all in all though, I would, if you are in the area, I would recommend it. But if you are willing to drive to other places, they're probably within this list, there probably will be better places. Thank you guys for watching. If you liked that video, hit the like button if you haven't already, hit subscribe. Also, if you have any suggestions, just leave them in the comment section below. Follow us on Instagram, link is in the description below. And tune in next week to see what we're, we're in search of. of. As soon as the first big section, you guys stopped talking, I started talking, you guys were like,